Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. He's an awesome God. We ask that you stand, please. Hallelujah. God is good. Yes, he is. We love him. Hallelujah. Lift him up. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Word, he allowed you to see another month. Hallelujah. Woke you up this morning. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Our opening hymn this morning is They Crucified My Savior, our invocation by Brother Victor Thomas, our scripture by Reverend Maddie Trotter. Amen. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings go. Praise God from
call to worship. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord, our feet shall stand within thy gate, O Jerusalem. For a day in thy course is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wickedness. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Blessed are they that dwell in the house. Lord, I have loved thy habitation, the place where thy honor dwelleth. For the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth keeps praise. We shall continue to make a joyful noise by singing, They crucified my Savior and nailed him to the cross, and the Lord will bear my spirit home. Him they crucified my Savior. Gracious God, our Father, God, we just thank you for this day that we've never seen before, oh God. And God, right now, we just ask you to touch each and everybody that's here today. God, we ask you to touch our pastor as he brings the word, God. God, we ask you to touch the choirs that sing songs from Zion. And God, we ask you to be with the church as a whole, God. And God, we just thank you today, God, because we know that you're mighty. 
gracious God that sits up high and looks down low and God, you know everything, God. So God, we ask you to touch the sick and the shut in this morning, God. God, we just ask you just to do everything that you do best, God. And that's touch your people, God. And God, we give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. stand by the reading of God's word, please. The scripture is John, the 20th chapter, verses 19 through 31. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the disciples were together, with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands Amen. and side. Amen. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Amen. Again, Jesus said, peace be with you. Amen. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. Yes. And with that, he breathed on them yes. and said, receive the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. If you forgive anyone's sin, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Amen. Now Thomas, also named as Didus, one of the twelve was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. That's it. But he said to them, unless I see the nail marks in his hands mm -hmm. and put my finger where the nails were, and put my hands into his side, I will not believe. Amen. A week later, his disciples were in the house again, uh -huh. 
and Thomas was with him. Though the doors were locked, Jesus mm -hmm. came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. That's right. Then he said to Thomas, Put your fingers here. See my hands? Uh -huh. Reach out your hands and put it into my side. Yes. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord and my God. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Amen. Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. Uh -huh. But these are written that you may believe oh, that right. Jesus is the Messiah, Amen. the Son of God, Amen. and that by believing, you may have life in his name. That's right. The Amen. word of God for the people of God.
Good morning, St. James, and live stream. Third quarterly conference will be held tomorrow, which is Monday, April 8th, at 7.30 p.m. It's in person, and it's in the fellowship hall. Next Saturday, the 20th of April, between the hours of 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., St. James will be hosting a wellness day. We would love to see everyone there. St. James are accepting t-shirt offers. If any woman would like to place an order, you can find the order form in the vestibule on the table. We need a few more orders before we can place our order. Thank you. Amen. My biblical nugget for the week is found in 118 Psalms, 24th standards. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. The people of God said amen. amen. Isn't it good to be in the house of the Lord one more time? Amen. Hallelujah. Isn't it good to have a reasonable portion of health and strength? God has brought us through January. He's brought us through February. He's brought us through March. Tell your neighbor, it's good to see April. Somebody say amen. Give God a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Amen. We want to continue to worship. Hallelujah. Let me say uh, thank you to those who are visiting with us, worshiping with us for the first time. Hallelujah. If you want to stand, you can. And if you want to wave your hand, we're just glad to have you. If there's someone here, amen. If not, we are all home. Amen. amen. And amen. God bless you, my brother. Thank you so much for coming to worship with us. And we are so glad that you came. We pray that you will come again. If you're looking for a place to call home, we pray that this will be the place. Amen. Amen. Give God another hand clap of praise. Amen. Thank you so much. You may be seated. Amen. And if there are some worshiping online, we are grateful to have you to be a part of this worship experience as well. And we pray that if you come this way, that you stop by St. James. And if you are in town that you would make your way over and then if you want to continue to worship online we're just glad that you're worshiping with us amen, amen. to god be the glory for the great things he has done let us continue to worship the lord as we worship him in our giving we ask that the officers of the church will come to receive our tithe 10 percent one dime out of every dollar one dollar out of every ten hallelujah and 10 out of every 100. If God has blessed you with a 1,000, that's $100. Somebody say amen. amen. Because it is the first Sunday, somebody said, thank you, Jesus. Amen. And if you've been blessed with 10,000, that means that's 1,000. Somebody say amen. amen. For those who get $789 a month, amen, bring your $78.90. To God be the glory. Amen. And don't forget to give an offering because God's goodness is upon your life and because you're just grateful for what he's done and you want to be uh, a part of God's kingdom and outreach as we give to be a blessing to others and as we work to get the work done in this church amen amen, amen. let us prepare our hearts and our minds as well as our checks to give cheerfully and willingly to the best of our ability for those who want to give online, you have the opportunity to do so at this time. Let us follow the directions of our ushers. Left and the right, would you stand? Come from the rear with a smile on your face. Hallelujah.
All things come of thee, O Lord. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. Amen. Amen. We believe in the power of prayer. Jesus rose early in the morning before day and went to a solitary place and he prayed. The disciples said to Jesus, Lord, teach us how to pray. The Apostle Paul said that we should pray without ceasing. David said in the evening, at morning, and at noon will I pray. These great people of God modeled what it was like to have a prayer life. Can I tell you that you can't not make it without the Lord? Can I tell you that you can talk to him and he'll talk to you? Can I tell you that if there's a problem that he does know how to solve it? Tell your neighbor he'll work it out. You have an opportunity on this day, the first Sunday in April, to bring your burdens, whatever concerns you may have, whatever problems you have, whatever your daughter and sons are going through, whatever your mother is going through. We can bring it all to the Lord in prayer. One songwriter says, I know Jesus. He will fix it. (laughs) And all the people behind him said, after a while. (laughs) Can I came by to remind you he can fix it right now? You can come in your own way. So choir leads us, you can come in your own way. And you can come and bring your burdens to the Lord. Don't forget to pray for those who are on the sick and the shut-in list. Lift them up. Those who are traveling, lift them up. Two police officers got killed. Seven others got shot down in South Florida. Lift up their families. Reverend Dr. Cecil Chip Murray, one of the giants of African Methodism, 94 years old, passed a few days ago. Lift up his family. He was there for that movement for the Rodney King riots and gathered people and grew that church. But let us pray for one another. God is more than able to bless us. He forgives. He heals and he restores. Just whatever you have on your heart, whatever you have on your mind, bring it to the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless you, bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. God is able. Just trust God. Wait on him. Be strong and of good courage. Hallelujah. Would you come if you have a concern, whatever is on your heart or mind?
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There's still room at the altar if you want to come. you pray for me let's watch God yeah Lord yeah Lord God is changing and he's working behind the scenes right now. We're going to ask Elder Hines if she will come and lead us in a word of prayers and pray for us. Hallelujah. The Bible says the faithful fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Jesus, who is the Christ, that we come before you, Lord God. Father, we come before you to acknowledge you, Lord God, as head of our lives, Lord God. Father, our hearts are grateful for who you are. Lord, we know that you are Jehovah Jireh, the one that provides, Lord God. Father, we know that you are Jehovah Nisi, Lord God, the one that protects us from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same sun, Lord God. We know, Heavenly Father, that you are Jehovah Rapha, the one that heals our bodies, Lord God. And for that, we are grateful. Jehovah Shalom, Lord God. You are ever with us, never to leave us nor forsake us, Lord God. So, God, we come before you now, Lord God, with hearts of thanksgiving. God, we are grateful, Lord God, for all that you have done. We are grateful for what you're doing right now, Lord God. And Father, we are grateful for what you're going to do because truly our hope, our trust, and our dependency is in you and you alone. There is no other God besides you, Lord God. You are the one true living God, Father, and we thank you, Lord God. We thank you most of all, Lord God, for the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed, Heavenly Father, for the forgiveness of our sins, Lord God. We thank you for the redemption blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, that restored us in true relationship with you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that Jesus, Heavenly Father, took upon him all of our nasty, dirty sins and deposited them into the pit of hell, Lord God. And so now, Lord God, you said that we can come boldly before your throne, Lord God, to ask for forgiveness, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God 
for the door of forgiveness that you have opened for us, Lord God. God, we give you glory and we give you honor, Father. We thank you, dear God, because of your love for us, Lord God. You saw fit, Heavenly Father, as you watched over us all through the night, Lord God. You stationed your angels, Lord God, and assigned them, Lord God, to minister to us. Even as we slept, Lord God, you cared about us, Lord God. And then, Lord God, you cared so much that you created a day for us to enjoy. And so we thank you for this day. We thank you for every blessing in place, Lord God. We thank you for every provision that you're going to make, Lord God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for strengthening us, Lord God, that we may once again come out into the house of the Lord to honor you, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. Father, we ask now, Lord God, that you will hear every petition before you, Lord God. And Lord, we pray that every petition will align with your will for our lives, Lord God, and you will be quick to answer them, Lord God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your people, Lord God. You are the creator, Lord God, and we thank you for your creation, Heavenly Father. God, we give you glory and we give you honor, Lord God. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have touched those, Lord God, that's in the hospital, Lord God. We thank you that you have touched your, those that in the nursing home, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, that you have lifted them up, Lord God. And Father, our trust is in you, Lord God. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Yes. We give you glory and we give you honor. Yes. We ask, Lord God, that you will order our steps, Lord God. We ask that you will make a way for us, Lord God. Yes. Continue to bless and keep us, Lord God. This is our prayer, Lord God. And we pray it, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus yes. Christ, who is our Redeemer. Yes. Jesus Christ, who is our Savior, Lord yes. God. It is in the name of Jesus that we come before you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Find favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting to be. Across the hottest desert, 
I'll travel near or far for your glory. I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my king.
I want to be where you are. I got to be where you are. There's safety where you are. I want to be where you are. For your glory. How many of you believe that today? Yeah. Just to see you, to behold you as my king. Wanna be where you are? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Church say amen. amen. Would you give the Lord a hand clap of praise? <laughs> amen. Today we'll share from Matthew chapter 28, just as on last week. But we'll go down a few verses. Uh, will you give this choir a hand clap of praise? <laughs> amen. Would you give these wonderful musicians a hand clap of praise? Amen. And give God a hand clap of praise for this. Amen. Amen. And give this director a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. God is good. Amen. Matthew chapter 28. Let me say this. You did a wonderful job. But that song will get you in trouble. Amen. You think about that song. Yes. I want to be where you are. Yes. You know the Lord is everywhere. Yes. All the time. Yes. At the same time. Yes. He's also the one they hung on Calvary. Yes. Suffering was where he was. Death was where he was. Where he was, they spit on him. <laughs> Mocked him. Rolled the dice, gambled at the cross. You sure you want to be where he is? He said, foxes have holes. And the birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere, I'm already preaching, to lay his head. Throw your head back and say, Lord, help me. Do you really want to be where he is? Somebody say amen. God is good, ain't he? Amen. He'll give you strength. Amen. But do you really want to be where he is? Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 28. God bless you, Reverend Faison. So glad to see you this morning. Amen. 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 You know, um, some people, you look at them, and uh, you just don't know what you're looking at. And then you, you look at other people, and you know what you're looking at. And my, my daughter would say, Reverend Faison, look like a preacher. Somebody say amen. amen. Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of these preachers. Thank you so much for all you do for the kingdom. Amen. Matthew chapter 28. We want to read uh, part of the Great Commission, the Great Commission, beginning with verse number 16. You'll find these words in the New King James translation. Let them in. Matthew chapter 28, beginning with verse number 16. 16, and I'll wait on you. Amen. God bless you. Matthew chapter 28, beginning with verse number 16 through verse number 20. 
let us read responsibly. You find these words. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee to the mountain which Jesus had appointed for them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. My God. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. All together, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Almighty and everlasting God, we once again say thank you. And as we yield to you, we say have your way. And God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, you are our rock. That means we can hold on to you. And you are our redeemer. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Let them that have an ear hear what the Spirit of the Lord said. And God, we'll be careful to give you all the praise, all the honor, and the glory. It is in the name of Jesus with great joy and Great expectation, we say, amen. amen. Matthew 28, 16 through 20 is a blessing, but it can also be a burden. Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20, tells us something about the disciples and how they were feeling. I want to preach on this title from the verses that have been read, but especially from verse 17 and verse 19 and 20. Verse 17, I find our title, when you see, he says, when they saw him, they worship him, but some doubted. I want to preach on this title, Sister Jackson, now that you have worshiped him, it's time to obey him. Now that you have worshipped him, it's time to obey him. The disciples are going through a crisis. The one who they love and the one who has taught them, the one who came to save us from our sins, had died and rose again. Reverend Trotter reminded us as she read the scripture how many times Jesus appeared to those disciples. And and he said that he appeared in a room and uh, spoke to them and said, peace be still, Uh, peace be with you. And Thomas was not there and uh, he said that he did not believe that the Lord had appeared. A few days later, Jesus, one week later, Jesus came back and appeared again. While the doors were shut, he showed up. Have you ever been in a place where the doors were shut and Jesus showed up? Spoke a word and gave you confidence and gave you courage and gave you strength. But then Jesus was still going to leave them. He had rose from the dead. They wondered if he was really the Messiah, was he was the one, as John the Baptist said, uh, Sister Helen, or should they look for another? And then they found out that he was the one, and then he died. They were disappointed. They thought that he would always be with them. Uh, but then he appears. He appears several times. And, and, and now it says that the 11 disciples went away into Galilee to the mountain where Jesus had appointed them. They showed up. They went exactly where he told them to go. Uh, when they saw him, the Bible said that they worship him. They were glad he was there, Brother Mazon. They worship him. Anybody want to worship the Lord? Uh, we worship him because he's been so good. 
We worship him because he's Lord and he's Savior. We worship him because he's the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We worship him because in the midnight hour, he comes and he speaks to us and he comforts us and he gives us strength. We worship him. We bow down before him. We sing praises unto his name. We, we worship him because he is God and besides him, there is no other. We worship him because he woke us up this morning and started us on a brand new day, a day that we had never seen before in a day that we'll never see again. We worship him because he kept us when we were driving this morning and kept us out of an accident. We, we worship him, hallelujah, uh, because he's that kind of God. He said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. And every time we think about the goodness of God, we ought to worship him. So they showed up that day and they worship him. But the scripture said, Brother Roosevelt, that some doubted. Some of us come this morning to worship him. But we come with doubt. <laughs> we come with doubt. And some of us come with fear. And when we worship God, we cannot allow fear and we cannot allow doubt to keep us from worshiping him. The psalmist said, hallelujah, we worship him in the beauty of holiness. Uh, the Bible said that we worship him, hallelujah, and we bow down before him. We worship him all of heaven and all of the earth at some point worship him. But then the Bible said, but some doubted. They showed up, but they had doubt. And then he spoke to them, saying, all authority has been given to me. He reminded them that he was still in charge. <laughs> he reminded them. He said, all authority in heaven, where he was going, and on earth where he was at the time. And then he commissions them. He says go. Therefore and make disciples. He gives them an assignment. To go and make disciples of all nations. All people. He wanted them to go and make disciples of all people. Call people to Christ. Compel people to come. They remember when he said, come follow me, and I'll make you fishers of people. And now they were charged to do just that. But the difference is now and then is Jesus had been with them in the flesh for three and a half years. And he had showed them how to do it and gave them the power to do it. But now he was getting ready to leave them. And they were going to have to do it without him being in the flesh but he promised that he would leave them the authority and the power that's the Holy Ghost so that they could do just what he asked them compelled them commanded them to do he says now that you have worship I'm giving you the power but you need to obey me you need to go tell your neighbor it's time to go and make disciples I'm reminded of the German theologian Dietrich Bonhoeffner who wrote the book, The Cost of Discipleship. Bonhoeffner lost his life. He was killed. Uh, Hitler didn't like what he represented and who he represented. And so he was killed. And Dietrich Bonhoeffner said it like this. Christianity without discipleship is always Christianity without Christ. I came by to remind you, you cannot be a Christian without Christ. You cannot make disciples without Christ being the head of your life. And I came by to remind you, one, one anonymous person said it like this, spirituality or spiritual maturity isn't measured by how high you jump or praise. 
He, he said it's not about how you worship. That's not just it. But then he said, but how straight you walk in obedience. They worship him, but they doubt it. They, they worship him, but now he commanded them to walk in obedience. I came by to remind you, but after we worship him today, it's time to go to work. <laughs> it's time to tell the world about a Savior that lives. One songwriter says, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. I came by to remind you now that you have worshipped him. It's time to obey him. They, they wanted to see him. They, they wanted to see him. That's why he appeared back to them to give them confidence. He came back because Peter had denied him to reinstate him. But, 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 but he came back and allowed them to worship him. Uh, but then he commanded them after they had worshipped him to obey him. He, he said, you worship me. You've seen me. You worship me. But now you need to witness for me. I came by to remind you there are a lot of people who are lost. There are a lot of people who are hurting. There are a lot of people who are confused. And since you know the Lord, since you've had an encounter with the Lord, since you've seen him for yourself, since he picked you up, hallelujah, since he made a way for you, now that you've seen him for yourself, now that you worship him, the Lord says, now you got to obey me. Now you got to witness. You got to tell somebody about Jesus that he lived. You got to tell somebody that he heals. You got to tell somebody that he saves. You got to tell somebody. He said, go unto all the world. Have Hallelujah, you got to baptize and you got to teach them to obey all things that I have commanded you. He said, go and tell the world to obey me, to trust me. He said, go and tell them to live holy. He says, go and tell them to love God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength. He says, go and tell them to love your neighbor as yourself. He said, go and tell them to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Tell your neighbor, now that you've seen him, now that you worship him, it's time to obey him. It's time to witness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some of us make excuses about why we cannot witness. Some of us have been hurt by the church. And we make excuses not to witness. Not to do the work that the Lord has called us to do. We know that there is life. Beyond the devil because Jesus got up from the grave. We know that there is life beyond addiction because God saved you. We know that there's life beyond affliction because God brought you through. There's life beyond anger. And there's life beyond abuse. There's life beyond bondage. And there's life beyond brutality. There's life beyond your brokenness. And there's life beyond bankruptcy. There's life beyond the challenges you are facing. And there's life 
beyond the changes you must make. There's life beyond confusion. And there's life beyond codependency. And there's life even beyond the cruelty in the streets or the cruelty in church. Yes, the Lord said that you can worship, but I called you to work. And if we don't look to the hills from which come at our help, we will stop where we are. We will live short of our blessings. We have to realize that God still has work for us to do and that there is life beyond our disappointments. Can I get a witness? There's life beyond our divorce. There's life beyond our doubt. There's life beyond the disrespect that others might have for us. There's life beyond the disease in our body. God healed you before and he's able to do it again. There's life, tell your neighbor, there's life. There's life beyond envy. There's life beyond those egotistic maniacs. There's life beyond the emergencies we face. There's life beyond the embarrassment we go through. There's life beyond the emotionalism you have. And there's life beyond an empty tomb. Because Jesus said he rose with all power. Hallelujah. He says, all power in heaven and earth is in my hand. And I came by to remind you not to stop short of your blessings. Not to stop short of your breakthrough. Yes, you worship on Sunday. But you ought to work on Monday. You worship on Sunday, but you are the witness on Tuesday. There's life beyond your failures. There's life beyond your frustration. There's life beyond your fear. There's life beyond the fake people in your life. But God is able to see you through. Tell your neighbor, keep your eyes on Jesus. Tell your neighbor, Stay focused. Tell your neighbor, fight to the finish. Tell your neighbor, don't give in. Don't give up. Tell your neighbor, the best is yet to come. There's life beyond greed. There's life beyond guilt. There's life beyond gutless people. There's life beyond grumbling people. There's life beyond the grudges that you have. There's life beyond grief. There's life beyond grievous wolves who will attack you. Jesus reminds us that there's even life beyond the grave. There's life beyond hustling. There's life beyond hostility. There's life beyond the humiliation that you went through last week. There's life beyond the haters. There's life beyond heartless people. The Lord said that they worship him, but some doubt it. But he says, all power in heaven and earth is in my hand. And then he says, go therefore and make disciples of all nations. He reminded them that there's life beyond injustices there's life beyond the losses you have there's life beyond the mistakes you made there's life beyond the mess that others have you going through there's life beyond our pain there's life beyond our problems there's life beyond poverty and there's life beyond persecution I came by to remind you that you got to worship him. But you got to witness because God has been good to you. You got to witness because God made death behave. You got to witness because God loves you. 
you got to witness because Jesus commanded you to go and make disciples. He says, go and make disciples of all nations. You got to preach it. You got to teach it. You got to live it. You got to baptize. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. You got to teach them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And I am with you. Tell your neighbor you are not alone. You can worship him and you can witness because you're not alone. He says, I am with you. Not sometimes. Not just on Sunday morning. Not just when you're going through. Not just when things are going well. He says, I am with you. Always. Even to the end of the ages. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to worship him. But I'm going to witness. I'm going to worship him. But I'm going to work for him. Somebody shout glory. Hallelujah. Has he been good to you? Did he deliver you? Did he set you free? Tell somebody, I'm going to worship him. But I'm going to work while my time is here. I'm going to witness until he take me home. Throw your head back and shout glory. Hallelujah. I'm going to worship him. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it because God is alive. God is real. And God is still in the blessing business. I came by to remind you that we got to worship him. But we got to work. We got to witness. We got to watch. We got to fight. And we got to pray. I'm so glad he died for me. But I'm so glad that early one Sunday morning he got up. Death couldn't hold him. He got up. The grave could not hold him. He got up. A sealed tomb could not hold him. He got up with all power in heaven and earth in his hand. And I don't know about you, but I come to worship him. And I come to witness. And I come to do the work that God has gave me to do. The family say, you can't save everybody. And I say, I'm sure going to try. Hallelujah. Because he saved me. And I'm just so grateful that he can save you. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. And he's still in the blessing business. Hallelujah. Let us stand all over the church. The doors of the church are open. You've worshipped. <laughs> but now it's time to work. <laughs> We're going to start to work right now. Ask the person next to you. Are you saved? Ask the person next to you. Do you want to be saved? Hallelujah. I'm going to pray with you. If you're going through something, would you come? Would you come? Would you give me that oil? Hallelujah. Is there another? Would you come? Would you give God a hand clap of praise as she come? Today is your day. Today is your day, Jane. Today is your day. Hallelujah. Today is your day, my sister. Hallelujah. 
Stretch your hands towards this man and woman of God. You can pray for her. Stretch your hand towards this man of God. He has a surgery this week. And we're praying that God will bring him through. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, dear God, we pray for James. That you be with him through his surgery. Bring about healing and restoration. In the name of Jesus. That he will come back stronger, better, and wiser than ever before. And that he will worship you. That he will work and that he will witness. That he will watch, fight, and pray. In the name of Jesus, give him courage. Give him strength. Be with his doctor. Be with his nurses. Be with everything. Enter his room. In the name of Jesus, we claim victory. In Jesus' name, amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Stretch your hand towards this young lady. Stretch your hand toward and begin to pray for her in your own language and ask God's blessings to be upon her. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless her. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Strengthen her. Keep her, dear God. Make a way. Hallelujah. Keep your angels encamped around her. In the name of Jesus, dear God. We thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. You may be seated. The doors of the church are still open. If, if there's a person that wants to become a member that you're not a member, we want to give you a few seconds to come. Is there one? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is there one? Is there one? Today is your day. One more time, one more time, one more time. Here you stand in the need of a blessing. I pray with you privately, whatever that might be. I don't want you to miss the opportunity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And I know you're gonna come after church. Amen. But that's all right. Give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. By his spirit. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. We were prepared Amen. for our Holy Communion. Amen. This first Sunday Amen. in this month of April, let us prepare.
A reminder, ye that do truly and earnestly repent of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbor and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, let us prepare our hearts and our minds to take this holy sacrament to your comfort. Make our armor confession to Almighty God where we are. Our general confession, Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all people, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against your divine majesty provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us, we do earnestly repent and are heartily sorrow for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please you in the newness of life to the honor and glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of your great mercies has promised forgiveness of sins to all them that with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto you. Have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all of our sins. Confirm our faith and strengthen us in all goodness. And bring us into everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto you. Amen. O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God, therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your holy name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord, most high. Amen. We do not presume to come to this your table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness. But in your manifold and great mercies, we are not worthy so much as to gather the crumbs under your table. But you are the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful souls and bodies may be made clean by his death and washed through his blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of your tender mercies didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his oblation of himself, once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute in his holy gospel, command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O oh, merciful Father. We most humbly beseech thee and grant that we receive in these your creatures of bread and wine according to your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ's holy institute, in remembrance of his death and passion may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood who in the same night 
that he was betrayed. Hallelujah. He took bread. Thank you, Lord. He took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it. And he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Thank you, God. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you should drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. 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 And we'll take it together, the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which was given for us to preserve our soul and our body unto everlasting life. And we prepare to take it and eat it and remember that Christ died for all of us. And we feed on him in our hearts by faith and with thanksgiving. All together you may take the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. Not the blood of goats or bulls, rams or doves, but the blood of Jesus which was shed for us to preserve our souls and bodies unto everlasting life. We prepare to drink this in remembrance that Christ's blood was shed for us and we are thankful. Amen. 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 You may take it. The Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, we, your humble servants, desire your fatherly goodness, merciful to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of your Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and your whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto you O oh Lord, ourselves, our souls, and our bodies to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto you. Humbly beseeching you that all we who are partakers of this holy communion may be filled with grace and heavenly benediction. And although we be unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto you any sacrifice, Yet we beseech you to accept this our bonden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom in the unity of the Holy Ghost, and all honor and glory be unto you. O Father, almighty, world without end. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. On high and on earth, peace, goodwill towards all people. We praise you. We bless you. 
we glorify you. We give thanks unto you for your great glory. O oh Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O oh Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O oh Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that take us, to, take us away the sin of the whole world, have mercy upon us. Thou that taketh away the sin of the whole world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For you only are holy. You only are the Lord. You only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, are most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And they all went out and sung a hymn. Amen. Celebrate him. Put your hand together and celebrate him. For me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sing the song. Yeah, they pierced him in the side. They pierced him in the side. Yes, they placed him in the side. For me. When I was lost, oh, he died on the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. Yeah, the blood came streaming down. Yes, the blood came streaming down. I said the blood came streaming down for me. coming back again I said he coming back again for me oh one day when I was lost yes he died I said I know where the blood yes I know I said I know it was the blood for me. Yeah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Our doxology praise God from whom all blessings flow.
praise him. that you've worshipped him it's time to obey him yes. now that you've worshipped him it's time to be a witness for him Amen. now may the grace of God the love of God the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit rest rule and abide with us here now and forevermore let us all sing together